hey guys what's up how is everybody doing you welcome to my channel and on today's vlog um i'm actually in lagos i don't know what title is gonna be but i'm actually in lagos right now and that's my sister right behind me hey gloria what's up hey. everybody's watching you see sis. hello <laughs> all right so that's my sister gloria and um, aka ria so ria you've been back to nigeria for a while now yeah how does it feel coming back to Nigeria? Like, it feels fantastic. Nigeria is awesome. I think I prefer Nigeria, man. The hustle is real. Things are happening. People everywhere. There's always something happening at a particular point in time, and then it's just very. So today was happening actually. <laughs> Two things are happening today. I think um, future awards. Yeah, and the... only me five pass. <laughs> and the corporate and then, elite. Yeah, yeah, corporate elite in the co hotel. Okay. So we're going to be like in two places in one night. So you're enjoying it, yeah? Of course, why not? I, although I look tattered, no makeup and all that. <laughs> so what major differences have you seen in both countries? Like in Nigeria, things are happening. Everybody wants to do something. There's always something. Do something. Yeah, you know, everybody's, you know, want to walk, you want to do something, you want to be there. But, you know, Ghan Ghanaians are just a bit very relaxed. You know, they're waiting for something to happen before they will now show up. But your Nigerians are ready to let things happen, and then it's it's very encouraging. It makes you want to also be involved, man, in the development and everything that's happening. So I, I I know you've lived in Nigeria more than uh, I mean you've lived in Ghana more than living in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. When you came, were there any major difficulties that you faced when you came back to Nigeria? Yeah. Especially getting to know people. You know, I know a lot of people in Ghana, but in Nigeria, like, I know nobody and nobody knows me. So, you know, it's like starting afresh, starting my whole life afresh. But for time, I think I've been able to, you know, get a little bit of connection here and there. People are beginning to recognize me, recognize my work, reality photography. And okay, fine. I know we are Nigerian, all that, but do you think our people are very friendly like Ghanaians? They are. Are you sure about yes. that? I think they are. Are they not? They are uh, sometimes. Yeah, Nigerians are, Nigerians are very sociable now. Even though they may, some of them may be fake, but finally, they are very sociable. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I think our Uber is here. If that is a Honda record, I think our Uber is here. Yep. yep. We need to enter the car and continue this video. Okay. So, like, we're in a car right now. <laughs> Obviously, we're in a car. Right now. Thank God for Ubers, first of all. Thank God for Ubers in Lagos. That's a good thing. I think Ghana should also try having Ubers. Yep. Like, most developed countries are all having the Ubers. So, thank God for the Uber services. So, let's continue. Um, What do you miss much about Ghana? I miss the food. You have to be audible. Like I miss the food. I miss the... The Ghanaian food is beautiful. I love Ghanaian food. I love the fact that Ghanaians just like to party for no reason. <laughs> Every day, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up for what? <laughs> turn up for what? Okay, talking about food, like Ghanaian jollof and Nigerian jollof. Ghanaian jollof every day, all day. I don't care what Nigeria say. Ghanaian jollof. Okay, so tell me, what's the difference with the Ghanaian and Nigerian jollof? I think it's the rice. The rice, right? Yeah. And they, and they take their time. They take their time. It's hard. They spice it. You know? They're very rich vegetables. It's really nice. It's, it's red, nice. almost red. <laughs> a lot of tomatoes, tomatoes that makes it look very you know, mm -hmm. yum. My mother is watching right now, you know. Yum yum, chicken. Ay. Oh, don't go Sometimes there. goat's meat. Ay, you know, they actually take their time. You know, they, you know, Nigerians jollof is too rush rush. Just mix 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 mix. Boy, but Ghanaians actually it's like a craft. Yeah. yeah. So, Ghanaian jollof, like Ghanaian jollof for the win. Any day. Or Okay, so um, what again? Uh huh. How's the life situation? Because now in Ghana we're all facing doom so. So what do you think about you know? What do you think about doom so? And what's the life situation in Nigeria now? Mm, the life situation to me, I think it's better now. Okay, for in because we always have light like twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. There's always light. You can't miss light. Okay. Yeah. It's. I don't know. It's just the light is very. It's really really. It's better now. Mm. Yeah. I don't know about Lagos. Nigeria is big now. Every state and their But we're in Lagos right now, so tell me what do you think about Lagos? You love Lagos? I'm in the hotel. Yes, I love Lagos. <laughs> what things is that? <laughs> Lagos is a lively place, man. You must act. Uh, Lagos, I don't know, man. There's always something happening. There's I mean, you can't help everybody's it. Everybody's busy. Yeah, it's busy. That's the word. Yeah, jobless here. Then maybe something is wrong. We'll find something and do. 
That's what's really. So if you have something doing in Lagos, man, you will love it. And if you get to know people, socialize. I mean, meeting the right people. People, yeah. it's all you need yeah, most the times. Right people. Okay. So Riri, um, if I have more questions, I'll check up on you later. Sure. Right. Bye.